What's up, Food Ninjas? Welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna to be bringing you somewhat of a restaurant challenge. This restaurant offers a pretty massive burger. And it's a burger that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. But the first time I went to the restaurant, they didn't have all the items to make the burger. Today, they fortunately do. I did call them so they know that I'm coming. The restaurant we'll be headed to is called Beauty and the Beef in Wellington Mall. And one of the main reasons I wanted to do this challenge today is because I have a contest coming up. As some of you guys know, I have Invisalign. I actually have it in there right now. Uh-huh. And for those of you that have experienced Invisalign or braces, um, your teeth get kind of tender. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do competing in this eating contest this Saturday in Miami. It's a burger contest. So for today's video, we're doing a burger challenge just to see if my teeth can handle that. So with all that said, we're gonna head to Wellington and Reese's wants to make an appearance. She keeps scratching my knee. Say hi to the people. Hello. Oh, you're so cute. All right guys, so let's go ahead and head out. All right, so Reese's wanted to come. She was actually waiting at the front door because she knew that I was getting ready to leave. And uh, I'm, I just brought her. So she's in her cage right now. I'm gonna buckle this up. Let's open this so she can say hi. Anyway, we have a 30 minute drive and I'll see you guys at Beauty and the Beef. Guys, so we have the massive burger in front of me. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. This is called the Spanky Burger. It weighs about roughly five pounds. Honestly, it might weigh a little bit more. I'm gonna say like six pounds, but there is a load of toppings on this. There is the bun, obviously, poutine. I don't know if I've ever had actual real poutine, so this might qualify for real poutine. There's my favorite vegetable in the world, pickles. They have barbecue sauce, tomatoes, onions. There's beef somewhere in here. There has to be beef. Yes, it's in there. Lettuce, tomatoes, bun, and that's pretty much it. This is a pay to play, so you definitely have to pay. And the cost of this burger is $50. However, if you do not finish the entire burger, you get spanked. And that is something I do not want to experience. Hopefully I can get this down. I think I can do it under an hour. So uh, with all that said, let's uh, go ahead and eat this spank me burger. So I'm gonna take out my Invisalign. And in three, two, one, I don't even know where to start. I guess I'm going to just take off this bun side and use my silverware. What I first want to do is take out these pickles because y'all know how I feel about pickles. Surprisingly, those pickles weren't bad. Covered with barbecue sauce, they weren't bad. It's a little spicy. And we're down to the very last pickle. Um, it looks like there's an entire onion in this thing. I love onions, so it's not a problem for me. So we got a lot of the poutine down, we got the pickles down, we got all the onions down. Now my stomach feels like it's burning just a tad bit from the onions, but that's okay. Right now we're about six minutes in. And just so you guys know, Reese is, is with me right here. I'm here to help, just pass me some food. Just chilling. I went with a different tragedy this time. I usually go with the meat first, and then I go with all the vegetables. We're gonna go ahead and take out a big piece of meat, and there's a massive amount of bacon. The burger is pretty much covered with bacon. My teeth seem to be, seem to be okay. All right guys, so we're about 22 minutes in. I'm pretty much taking my time with this one. There is no time limit, so there is no need to rush. And now I just have pretty much the top bun and bottom bun with a few pieces of meat left.
All right, guys, so we're 32 minutes in. We have everything down except for the bottom bun and the top bun. These are pretty, they're not that bad. I thought they were gonna be a little heavier. Let's go and see if we can get this down. Now typically I don't like to dunk bread, but in this case I think I will, just to make it a little easier. Oh yeah, that's a lot easier. We are 45 minutes in, going strong. Dipping of the bread is actually helping a lot, but the sauces are kind of making me um, feel a bit nauseous right now. I'm a little full right now, but I, I think we can manage to finish the rest of this. Probably gonna take me an hour. Five mouthfuls left. Refill this with water. I'm using this to dunk the bread, thank you. Oh, this is so gross by the way. Doing this. Sixty-two minutes. This is the last piece. My apologies for being so slow. Definitely need to practice a little more. The timer accidentally cleared. Instead of pushing this button, I pushed the bottom button, but we were at 62 minutes and like 30 seconds to complete this massive burger. That was good, but it was a lot more than I was anticipating. However, my teeth are okay. So even with the Invisalign, a little loose sensation, but overall, it doesn't really affect my eating. All right guys, so it's been a few days since I did the challenge at Beauty and the Beef. First of all, I just want to say thank you to Beauty and the Beef for allowing me to come and film. They're very accommodating, so I just want to give a huge shout out to them. And as far as the challenge, the challenge was actually really tasty. Although the meat was just a little overcooked, I like it more medium and still pink on the inside because it makes it a lot easier to eat, especially when you're doing massive amounts. But overall, it was a really fun challenge. Obviously, you guys know how long it took me quite some time. I definitely need to practice on capacity. I also have a contest today in Miami. I'm not going to be filming it, at least I don't think so. Like I said earlier in the video, I wanted to see how my teeth would tolerate eating burger and it did just fine. Hopefully I come out on top at the contest today. If you guys are following me on IG, I'll probably film some of it on my stories. So if you guys aren't following me on IG, go ahead and follow. My link is always in the description to all my social medias. It would be much appreciated. Also, if you guys can do me a favor and smash the like button, this video kind of took me quite some time and I know these videos don't do as well as like cheat days but it would really mean the world if you guys would just hit that like button and if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video peace do you even want to come I know you don't Mwah. I feel like it'll just be an